Hi guys, welcome back to Gaming Muscle Videos. In this video, we're going to check out some more Pool Nation VR and uh, have a bit of a game against the old uh, the old AI and uh, see how well we can do. Now, I've done a review of Pool Nation VR recently, which you can check out by clicking on the link that's on the screen now if you want an introduction to Pool Nation VR and, and uh, what it's like, what it's about. But what I felt was that in the um, review, I didn't really cover that much of the gameplay and some specifics. So what I'm going to do in this video now, we're going to take a look at uh, the actual gameplay and just go into some more detail. So we're going to do uh, an AI match. But before we do that, just go to settings. You've got different graphical settings all the way from low, medium and, and high um, and ultra if you are super extreme. Um, Basically, the biggest, the most noticeable difference between them is that on the higher settings, it seems to up the uh, actual render resolution and and AA, and the lighting improves a bit. But really, medium um, is sort of the sweet spot. Low, you get a little bit of uh, aliasing going on. But to be honest, whilst you're playing, even on the lowest graphics settings, uh, everything is pretty much fine. Um, for, for gameplay, nothing, nothing will, nothing really ruins the actual the gameplay. So, got some uh, little tracking bugging on. There. I need to adjust my cameras a little bit. Let's um, let's just check the streams going, and then we'll get going into a game. So there we go. We've got yep, the audio is going fine. I wasn't sure if the game audio was recording. You notice that we've also muted the uh, the music in the game. Um, I find when I'm playing this myself, what I like to do is just put my own music on and uh, turn, turn the in-game music off because it's just their random tracks rather than stuff that you want to listen to. And it's nice to just chill out and uh, play with your own music in the background, really. Uh, multiplayer is really cool on this. You can just search for a game and jump straight in. We're going to put the AI on level 5. I'm just going to do one frame, ghost ball on, 8 ball pull. Here we go. So there we go. The AI is doing the opening shot. And there is some things I wanted to try out in terms of aiming, of aiming the ball because uh, one thing we found is that when you when you've got the pull cue out, when you press the lock button with the trigger, uh, this icon gets in the way. But what I wanted to find out and try, which we will do when we get when these guys finish dominating the table, is if we can lock it in place up here and then there we go. Then look down the cue and then I think you can adjust it a bit. There you go. You can adjust it a bit with the right hand stick. So hopefully um, we can do that to uh, line things up without using the assist so much. So let's teleport over here. We're solid. So we're going to go for that brown ball. <laughs> Let me clear the table off. I've got too much rubbish on the table. We'll just uh, clean the table. There we go. That's how you clean it using a Jedi force push. We've got the uh, aim assist on. But let's try this... Um, just with the grips, motion sickness mode, I like to call it. Let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to aim like this, looking down the queue. Line it up actually mostly as we would. And then I'm going to... So there we go. Okay, now we can hold that in place. Now how can we adjust... Can we adjust... Oh no, we can just adjust the angle. You can actually... You can actually... Uh... Very hard to adjust it precisely. It'd be nice if they put like um, a sort of sensitivity based on how hard you're pulling that trigger down. So for now, we're just I'm just going to use the aim assist. It's the easiest way to play the game. What we're going to do? Try and knock that brand then roll off onto the yellow. So I'm just give this a gentle tap. <laughs> not quite where we wanted to go, but not not terrible. Might be better to go for the. I uh, oh, will go for the yellow, and we'll be lined up for the red. So. Let's see if we can get this going. Now, one of the things that's really nice with this game is that because it's all 3D and the actual motion tracking of the controller is superb for the for the hitting of it, it's probably the most intuitive pool game I've played on, on a computer. Uh, all the virtual sort of pool games always feel a little bit off to me, whereas this lines up, although it's not, you know, it's not 100% analogous to the real-world activity... 
arm. <laughs> Typical. We got defeated by the pocket. It's not 100% an just a real-world activity, but it, it lines up. It's very replicable to do what you want to do. And the, the amount of power you put on the ball specifically is very controllable. And that's one of the things that always seem to be wrong in, in virtual virtual pool games. Oh, this is obviously virtual virtual pool. <laughs> virtual virtual pool nation virtual VR pool. Look at that guy. He's, he's getting them all. But the power aspect of getting the power on the balls is done better than any other game I've played in this. That was better. Now we've got to line it up for the uh, for the red here. We teleport about. Um, as I say, for the fine adjustment, using the, the double grips, I don't know if I'm looking at the camera, I'll assume I am. Using the double grips... Um, is really good for fun adjustment but i think this is going to be like really hard for people that suffer from motion sickness because it is, <laughs> it is a little bit jarring you kind of get used to it i've got used to it. it's not a problem but i could see how people that are sensitive to motion sickness might not like using that uh, and the problem with that is that if you then if you're trying to just adjust yourself through moving which is perfectly fine you then have to actually have quite a lot of space available to you to be able to move around the table as you would in in real life so if you've got a smaller space, you, you really are dependent on having a, a lead stomach to be able to take advantage of this movement mode. Hopefully, the, this is what we said in the review, is that the developer can have it so that when you, when you do activate this mode, maybe the room can dim down a little bit more, leave the pool balls on the table uh, in full visibility, but the pool table, the room, everything can go dark and we can have dust particles and have it so that your orientation makes makes sense or it's less jarring there's a there's someone that did a, a sort of walking mode where where you rotate the room to, to then be able to go back again on yourself but still be walking forwards if that makes sense and the way they've done that is pretty much how i'd expect to be for it to be comfortable putting the cue through the black ball there to line this up a bit better oh that's pretty good. So, also what's nice with Paul in general is that because most of the gameplay takes place actually in front of you, um, sort of within a sort of five, well, two, three metre distance, that's all perfectly uh, sharp in VR, looks pretty good in VR, where stuff up further away, as you start getting sort of 10, 15 metres plus away, the, the fidelity goes down, especially when it comes to, to small details. So this pool game actually works surprisingly well given the limitations of, of current VR. It's quite a good fit. <laughs> now if we go for this, we're going to end up with a white ball going in the pocket. But we're going to go for it anyway on the limit here. Using this uh, aiming assist to our full advantage, we give this a big hit. <laughs> oh, totally off. Oh, no, the black's going to go in. No, we blocked it. Uh, clearly, that was a defensive shot. I think the AI is going to deal with it though. This is this is AI easy four. Don't know what they'd be like on the harder settings. I can only imagine they're going to be ridiculous. Though you know, if you if you're pro at pool, probably won't have a problem with them at all. But I'm terrible at pool. Not bad. Really satisfying sound effects, apart from uh, this Jamaican band sound effect, uh, effect when you teleport. But the uh, the ball hitting sound effects just really nice, really clunky sort of nice click momentum imparting sound and again in terms of in terms of feeling in terms of satisfaction from that sort of pull satisfaction of manipulating physics objects uh, and them impacting each other again i'd probably say this is one of the more satisfying pool games that i've played we're going to try and bounce it off there onto uh, into this pocket so <laughs> this is not going to work if we get this in uh, i've earned myself a beer tonight oh <laughs> not bad not bad uh not good enough to get the ball in the hole now the ai is going to destroy us you'll notice as well there's different hats and uh, you've got some customizations you can do to the uh, pool pool cue he's going to finish us off here. he's waiting the ai has a habit of making mistakes until you catch up with them and then they destroy you um, but as you play through the single player, you unlock different pool tables, pool cues, hats. Uh, and it's really nice, actually, how they're presented to you at the end of uh, 
end of the game we got defeated your opponent wins <laughs> so let's give him a rematch so yeah it's really nice how it's presented to you is a little gift that you comes on the table that you then open up to uh check out to see what you've got as a little trophy you can stick on the side well, we've got it's an open table here so we're gonna I don't think i'm not sure if we're allowed to pick the ball up on an open table no we're not Shows you how much we know about Paul. Let's go for this easy one. <laughs> That's about my skill level with the ball is right next to the pocket. Oh, can't lock it in place when the. <laughs> ah! Double combo! <laughs> that was nice. You can't uh, take the shot when the ball keeps going through the table, of course. Why does that not let me do that? I don't know what that's about. It's. Uh... Is that a stripe? Oh, it is a stripe, so it's giving me a hint. I thought it was a solid colour there because of the angle of the ball. Try and get this green in that pocket, see if we can do this. Give it a little tap. Could do a cheeky little block to the AI. Oh! <laughs> we tried. We kind of blocked the AI off. It wasn't terrible. There's a little bar, is that? <laughs> AI almost committing a foul there. Naughty boy. We've got the little bar. We can have a little walk around whilst we're waiting. This is our go. We're just going to have a little teleport around. We could get a drink from the bar. I would like... Um, what have they got on tap? Let's have a look. Fluff. Fluff light. Fluff dry. Fluff light and fluff. It looks like they've got a lot of fluff in the bar. It's uh, the brand of the day. Fridges look a bit empty. The bar maybe doesn't be staffing them. Let's, oh, we're just vandalising the bar. Let's get behind the bar and serve ourselves. Do you think these, these might actually work? Let's see if we can... If we've got a glass, we can... Uh, well, there aren't any glasses, so I'm just going to use an ice bin. We'll take, <laughs> we'll take the ice bin, and we're going to fill that up with fluff... Uh, I want fluff dry. That's what I feel like having, so... Pop that in there, let's see if this works. Oh, the taps are empty! <laughs> oh, wow, that's a disaster. Okay, we'll forget that. Let's go back to Paul. That's what we're here for. No drinking allowed in this establishment. Someone, the, the bar, the bar people are completely incompetent here. They've, they've not got the taps connected. Okay, so we've got solids. We're going to go for that yellow that's over there, I think. Let's get, whoops. And that's one thing I've noticed myself doing quite a lot is accidentally pressing the uh, teleport button when I mean to select the queue. I think the teleport button could do with being the bottom one rather than the top one. But there we go. Let's uh, see if we can get this. Oh, we can't get that. You can actually jump the ball. So we'll try doing it. Can do some nice trick shots in this. Line that up there. Let's see if we can get that around there. Okay. I'm gonna try and jump it. We're gonna have to give it a bit of a big hit. Interesting technique here, sort of the side swipe, but oh, wasn't steep enough on it, wasn't hard enough. Total disaster. Fouled. <laughs> let's uh, see if we can put the AI off with some. Uh, let's see if we can ruin his game. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> I tried to block him, but it didn't quite work. We've been. Let's get that back. Oh, put this back on here. Let's see if he can deal with that. <laughs> it affects it, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect the momentum of the ball. <laughs> they can still do their shots. Okay, out we go. Solid. So you can play around without it ruining the game. It's the same in multiplayer. Though in multiplayer, you can actually block the view of the other player by just standing in their way, which can be a little bit off-putting. I don't think there's a way for them to disable that. Let's get this brown. We're on fire here. <laughs> oh no, no, we made a bit of a mistake there. We're back on it. We've totally covered off that pocket. We're going to go for a, a shifty shot on this. Bit of an angle shot on this. Purple. I think we've got this. Oh, a bit, probably a bit too hard on that hit, boys and girls. <laughs> Chaperone system. I'm totally confused. You find yourself moving around the room playing this and just getting completely and utterly disorientated and uh, some of the, some VR games where you are moving around a bit you just keep going and you you totally forget where you are in reality it's just sort of one of the crazy things with with VR you get totally lost 
So imagine if you had a big... If the uh, Vive had sort of an infinite cable and infinite tracking and you're in some kind of leisure centre or a field, you'd just end up walking off cliffs and things and you'd probably walk a couple of miles before realising, let's try and get this purple in, try and get some speed off it to line up for the, for the green. That was a good hit, but ball getting a bit of spin on it. As I say, the physics are actually... Oh, perfect lining up there. Um, the physics are actually pretty nice. They've taken the... Obviously, use the physics that they developed for the Pool Nation and Pool Nation FX, the PC and console game. Don't want to hit this too hard because I want to get bounce back to hit the red, so we'll try it. Nope, terrible. <laughs> we needed the backspin on it. No, I put too much, just hit it in the middle, so the ball obviously just carried on forwards. Disaster. We need to do something to make it hard for the uh, AI to deal with this. I'm not sure what to do. We're just snooping ourselves here, I think. Let's try and put, maybe we can get a little tap off the red. We'll see what happens. I'm going to absolutely going to clobber this. <laughs> Don't know if that'll hit it. But there we go. Oh, 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 <laughs> nearly. Oh, dear. I think the AI is going to do us again at the end of the game. Typical. He waits to strike and I uh, know oh, he's made a mistake. That's uh, the good thing of having the AI on easy, I guess. Let's go for the far pocket, I think. That's lined up nicely. It's not missed that. Oh, we don't want to hit the ball there. You've got to be careful with the... You see where the laser dot is? You can see the angle that you're hitting the ball. Oh, no, we bloody missed it. <laughs> I don't think the AI is going to forgive us a second time. Surely they've got us. No, no. The, the, he's, he's, we've, we've poured him too much fluff. All these bottles are from the AI drinking. That's the key to being successful at, at pool, if you're not very good, to get your opponent completely drunk. Yes, so we can get the black in here and we'll have defeated AI number five and we'll be able to move up through the ranks. We're probably better off teleporting rather than rowing ourselves across the room. Can we get it in? I think we've got this. <laughs> I hope we have. Otherwise, he's definitely going to beat us. I don't know why the AI is struggling so much. Oh! <laughs> Terrible, almost fouled as well. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Come on, we need to up the pressure on the AI here. We need some kind of distraction. No! <laughs> Bottom, David, you're not allowed to shot. <laughs> oh, he's just set us up. The bottle distraction worked. Completely legal technique. This is going to be a tricky one to get in. <laughs> Don't even know if we can. I'm gonna go for it anyway. Far right pocket. Don't get ready. Get ready. Ugh. Oh no! <laughs> Disaster! Disaster! Oh no! Oh, the bottles didn't work. We've lost another game, and we need to go back to pool school. <laughs> He's level... The opponent is still level one. It's not quite level one. The way they divide it up is there's different degrees of level one. <laughs> or, I don't know, that's my excuse. Absolutely terrible. But there you go. That's a bit more in-depth look at Pool Nation VR. Of course, you do get a, a darts game thrown in put darts here and uh, you activate let's just double check that we're not in going to punch a hole in our wall you activate the dart board by just playing on it and again we're terrible at that as well oh was that a bullseye no pretty close not bad and of course as i say it also has multiplayer well, the next game we play i think will be multiplayer online with someone else uh, and you just launch straight in it's exactly the same as playing against the eye but it picks up your microphone and it all just works so until next time um Let's see which way we're facing in the room. It could be anyway. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe and like to the channel if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, don't forget to ask questions in the comments. I'll see you in the next video that we do. Goodbye.